So when do you stop giving CPR? Howdy, I'm Kiram, Chief Medical Officer at Polaris. This is CPR for noobs. I'm gonna give you some tips right now on how to save lives. Let's do it. So um, when should you stop doing CPR? There's a few uh, instances. One is you need to apply the AED, right? Um, you can't do CPR while putting on the AED. So you gotta stop really quickly. You don't wanna wait too long. Get this thing strapped on and then get right back on the chest compressions. Another circumstance where you would stop doing CPR is if you're too exhausted. It's really exerting, trust me. Five minutes of CPR is uh, quite a workout. So, you know, uh, if you're doing it and you just collapse, well then, that's, you gotta find, ideally, someone else to take over for you and you guys can go back and forth. So, find a bystander so that never happens. Uh, another circumstance is they come back to life. Great, you save their life, perfect. Other circumstances, um, a first responder comes, right? A nurse, an EMT, a doctor, and they take over uh, for you. Another circumstance where you would stop CPR is if, if it's clear that they're, it's been so long that they're fully dead, in other words, right? The, this, the body is cold and so on, past the point of no return. So those would be the instances where you would stop giving CPR. But um, there's been many cases where, uh, I was just looking at one the other day where I think it was somebody in England where after 60 minutes of CPR, the person eventually came around. So you wanna go as long as you can go. All right, so those are all the reasons why you would uh, stop CPR.